Okay, lads, so we are on page 39 of our books, and we're going to start an Irish Travel Agents Association for homework. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is set up a border. So I'm coming down 10, 10, 5, and 10. Firm line, construction line, construction line, firm line. In 10 from the side, firm line. In 10 from the side, firm line. And up 10 from the bottom, firm line as well. Okay, so now that I have my sheet set up, I have to look for the overall height and the overall width of this shape. So the overall height is given on the side here and it's given as being 96 and the overall width is 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 80 plus 10 plus 80. So 260. So I'm going to measure down 120 from the bottom of my border. So I come down 120 and draw a line across my page. Then I want this shape to be centered on my page. So I'm going to take 400, take away 260, which is going to leave me with 140. And divide that by 2 is going to give me 70. So coming in then 70 mil from the side and drawing a point here 260 away. So down 120. Draw on a construction line. Coming in from the edge of my border, 70 mil. My overall height is given as being 96. And the overall width of the shape is given as being 260. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle for that shape to fit into this ITAA. I need to fit into that rectangle. Okay, so rectangle, rectangle now has been drawn. I need to start measuring out all my widths. So I have 20, 10, 30, 20, 10, 80, 10, and 80 on the bottom. And then on the top, I have 20, 10, 55, 35, 10, 90, 40. So I'm gonna measure out all them widths and draw vertical lines up. Then after that, I'm going to take my heights, so my heights are here on the side, and they're just given as 29 so far. And we also know that we have 34 degrees here and 34 degrees here. But we're just going to start by drawing our grid of down 29. Okay. Okay, so I'm just starting to do some of my vertical lines here, but just remember to use your T-square and your set square together to draw your vertical lines here. Okay, so now that I have my grid drawn out, I can start working on some of my firm lines. So the I in Irish Travels Agents Association is pretty easy to draw. It's just 20 across and 60 or 96 high. So I'm going to draw that now with a firm line. So I'm grabbing my H pencil and I'm going over my construction line. The firm line. Measuring across here, 20, which I should have already done with my grid. And that's the I then for the ITAA. The next letter is pretty easy again. It's just going across 10. It's going to be coming down or 29. Come across here 30, so you can see that from the bottom. Come all the way down to the bottom of our shape, across 20, and back up, and then finish off that shape. So we can try to do that now. I'll do my horizontal lines first. So one, two, and three. 
and then doing my three vertical lines. Okay, so that's the T done now as well. The next step for us is to measure across from the bottom of our T, 10 mil, and measure up at 54 degrees and measure up in this direction at 54 degrees as well. So to do that, I'm using my tractor. I'm going over to the spot here, so I'm measuring across 10 from the bottom right of the T. I'm lining up the crosshairs of the protractor and I'm going to measure an angle of 54 degrees. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and four. It's going to get me to this point. I'm going to draw a little construction line up at that angle. And in the opposite direction from 80 mil across from that, we should have that marked as well. Going drawing another line up at 54. So again, lining up the crosshair of my compass, and this time counting from this side. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 4. And that is going to get us this line here. Okay, and we can see that where they cross now is going to be firm lines. So I'm going to fill in them two firm lines now. Okay. And we can also see that directly above the top point of this A, at the top of our shape, is where these two lines meet as well. So I'm going to mark off that point. It's just directly above it. So I'm going to draw a vertical line through that. And that's going to get us the top point of the A. So I'm just going to mark that. That's the top point. And we know that this line and this line are parallel. So there are two lines that will never touch, so they're going in the exact same direction. And we can draw them parallel lines using or sliding set squares that we've done before. So lining up one side of my set square with this line, getting my other set square and just leaving it underneath it like this and just sliding it. So keeping this edge of the set square parallel with this line here. It's moving it across until I meet that dot, which is just here. And I can draw a firm line. And do the same in this direction. So lining up the edge of my set square with this edge here, and then just sliding it to the left this time. Fill in them firm lines. The next thing we need to do is the exact same thing again, but with this A over here. Okay, so same thing again, measuring up an angle of 54 and 54, finding the top of the A, and then drawing a parallel line to meet the top of the A and joining them together to get the finished product of the A. So doing that now again. degrees to the right, 54 degrees to the left, ok 
Okay, and where they meet then is this point, and I can draw two firm lines to meet that. Okay, drawing a vertical line through that point that we just found. So going to that point, I'm just drawing a vertical line through it. To get the top of that edge lining up my set squares again to get a parallel line here and a parallel line here. Okay, so that's the I T A A, and the final thing, if you look here, we have to measure down seven, four, seven, four, and seven to get these three lines here. Okay, so from the top of the A, it's given here, we have to measure across ten mil, then thirty-five mil, then five mil. Measuring across 10 mil, 35 mil, 5 mil, and 5 mil to get these points. Okay. And from this point here that I just found here, so measuring in 10 mil, I need another parallel line, construction line, that I'm just going to move over here this 10 mil. So I'm lining up my set square again. Slide and set square, and I'm just going to draw a construction line here. Okay, so I have all the constructions now, it's just a matter of drawing this shape. So just keep referring back to the question while you're drawing this shape. So you don't get confused on the lines. Okay, and then that's our drawing now complete.